Here we are at Daytona International Speedway, where 18 cars will take off for the Lincoln Welders Shootout. So let's take a look at our starting lineup. On the pole, we got Brad Keselowski, starting second, Eric Amarola. In row two, we got Denny Hamlin and Joey Logano. In row three, we got Kevin Harvick and Paul Menard. In row four, we got Ryan Blaney and Clint Boyer. And then in row five, we got Kurt Busch and our first Camaro in the field, Chase Elliott. In row six, we got Kyle Busch and Alex Bowman. In row seven, we got Daniel Suarez and Austin Dillon. Row eight, we got Eric Jones and Jimmy Johnson. And rounding out the field in row nine, we got Martin Tricks Jr. and Kyle Larson. So let's take a look at the weather for today's race. We got winds coming from the southeast of 9 miles per hour, air temp is 77 degrees Fahrenheit, and the track temp is 112 degrees Fahrenheit. And so now the car is taking off pit road, ready to start today's race. So let's take a look at the race facts. We have 10 laps. Uh, segment 1 is going to be 3 laps. Segment 2 is going to be 3 laps. And the final segment is going to be 4 laps. And the pole sitter, Brad Keselowski, is going to choose the outside, probably because he'll have a Penske teammate, Logano, and a Penske-affiliated teammate, Paul Menard, right behind him. Pace car pulls on to pit road, and we're ready to get go racing. Green flag, we're racing in the Lincoln Welder shootout. Good jump for Keselowski early. He gets up top with Logano and Menard. And now going down the back stretch, then we got Eric Amarola in fourth, Clint Boyer in fifth, a couple Stuart Haas cars. Oh, oh, spin in the back. Caution already. And it's Daniel Suarez. Looks like Kyle Busch was trying to get a pie. He misjudged it and clipped Daniel Suarez. Yeah, you can see it right there. So they're both coming to pit road. Daniel Suarez will take four tires. Kyle Busch will take two. We're going to go to break. And we're back here at Daytona. Keselowski chose the inside. Green flag. One lap shootout to end segment one. Keselowski blocking top, bottom, three, three and four wide throughout the pack. Denny Hamlin coming to the inside. But Keselowski's going to hold them all off and win segment number one. And all these segments are as we go to break. Now, all these segments are important because th these are going to be average finishes here to how you start in segment three. Green flag, back racing. Brad Keselowski leads him early. Blaney trying to go up top, but Brad makes good blocks. Joey Logano side by side with Blaney for second. Two to go in segment two. Can Keselowski hang off? Logano. Oh, and the end of the wall, the big one. Ryan Blaney's in it. Paul Menard. Huge wreck on the back stretch. Let's take a look at what happened. It looks like Blaney thought he was clear of Logano, so he went up high to try to block him. Yeah, you can see it right there, and then everybody else behind just stacked up. There's the cars involved. Logano, he has a little bit of damage. Uh, he'll come to pit road and repair that, but he should be okay. And that's the end of segment two. It's going to end on a caution with Brad winning it. And those are the averages that decide to line up for segment three. So, yeah, of course, Brad's going to start at first, but unfortunately for Logano, he'll have to give up that second uh, to go to the back. And here we go, green flag, racing at back under green in segment three. Denny Hamlin, oh, and into the wall, Alex Bowman. And, yeah, just misjudged it like Blaney did, went up high and blocked Logano. Green flag, back racing in overtime in segment three. Kurt Busch trying to hold off Kevin Harvick. And down the back stretch, Harvick trying to make moves. Up top, down low. White flag for Kurt Busch. Can he make it work? Harvick up top. Good push from Logano. He gets the lead. Down the back straightaway for the final time. Harvick blocks top, bottom. Through three and four. Logano's gonna, or Harvick's going to hold them all off and win the Lincoln Welder shootout. Wow, great racing and Harvick burns it down. Let's take a look at the results. You can see Harvick only led the last lap. Unfortunate for Kozlowski, he led the most laps, but he'll get fifth today. So thanks for watching this race.